What's up, Vertech family? Today we're going to show you how to make an amazing Chinese char siu pork belly burn-in. Sounds like a lot, but it's going to be delicious. Trust me. We've got some teriyaki sauce, some red food coloring, some Chinese five spice powder. And it wouldn't be an Asian-inspired recipe if we weren't using that Jody's Asian persuasion. But I got a pork belly here. Let's get started. We went ahead and purchased some of our favorite teriyaki sauce. And uh, you can't skimp on the red food coloring, right? The red food coloring adds a ton of flavor, if you don't trust me. I'm just kidding. It really doesn't, right? But this is going to give us a great color on there as well. But the whole packet, the redder the better. Just be very careful to get this on your hands. White cabinets. Perfect. A little ch Chinese five spice. Jody's Asian Persuasion. It's got the ginger, sriracha granules, good stuff. Now this is a great marinade you can do for chicken, shrimp, anything you want bright red. Perfect, just like that. All right, onto this pork belly. We picked this up at the store. We're just gonna cube this into like one inch chunks. Make sure you get it good and cold, a nice sharp knife. Again, this is a raw, uncured pork belly. Okay, and then we're just gonna cut them into like bite-sized chunks. And then keep them uniform in size because that way they cook super consistent. We don't want some that are huge and some that are small because obviously they're not gonna cook the same. All right, we're gonna take our sauce. We're gonna pour over about two thirds. We're gonna save one third to use later, but you can see the color on this. Yeah, we're making a mess, it's okay. But you wanna save about one third of sauce to use for glazing at the end. And we're gonna mix this up really good. Then we're gonna let this marinate overnight in the fridge for about 24 hours. And that way that the flavor can kind of penetrate. And more importantly, that red food coloring can kind of dye and stain the inside. That's really what you want. All right, you can see the difference here. We marinated some earlier, let them go overnight. You can see how much darker they are, right? That's what we want. Nonstick cooking mat, we're gonna line these up. We got a Rectech fired up 300 degrees. It'll take right about 90 minutes. All right, once they look like that, they're ready for a sauce. You can toss them all in a bowl, but I just grab that brush and kind of slop it on. And all it takes is about maybe five more minutes. That sauce kind of almost candies on the outside. Yeah, pretty ridiculous. Here's a use for that BFS, that big freaking spatula. Look at those. All right, here we go. Now just keep in mind, whatever this touches, it's gonna stain. So uh, yeah, we'll just forego this nice white plate here. Some sticky rice, maybe in little lettuce wraps, or just a great one bite snack. This right here, couldn't be any easier. Heart healthy too, it's just uh, pork belly, right? It's not quite bacon yet. But that glaze almost gives it like a candied sort of texture on the outside. This one's for me. Look at this, see, nice and tender. Absolutely delicious. Going for that bite right here. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Put that in an egg roll and I'm a happy guy, but Chinese char siu, pork belly burn ends. Woo. Hey Jody, you gotta try this. Thanks, Greg. Feed your friends. 